Welcome back guys. Today we're going to talk about some things Kiwis may not actually realize. And this has come about because I have been doing TikTok videos on the differences between New Zealand and the US and YouTube videos over the last year and a half and have realized how many things that you don't realize is a very Kiwi thing or maybe doesn't exist say in the US. And so today I'm going to highlight a couple of those. You are not going to miss it. If you have not subscribed to the channel, make sure that you do that below. It's free to do and it just alerts you of our videos every week so you're not going to want to miss it here we go i think you may be surprised to know that burgers are not from wisconsin if you're not from New Zealand, there is a place called Burger Wisconsin. And so I always get this question, so the burgers must be like so good in Wisconsin. Well, the cheese is. It's the cheese state. But no, burgers did not originate in Wisconsin. Uh, you know, they're from Germany, Hamburg, Germany, hence the word hamburger, right? I believe McDonald's, the first one started in Illinois. So that's close to Wisconsin. But this whole thing about Burger Wisconsin always makes me laugh um, because people think burgers are associated with Wisconsin. But you know, in fairness, they can be very good. The Culver's, um, the butter burgers in Wisconsin are very good, but it didn't any sort of originate in Wisconsin. So just thought you'd want to know. Number two, dairies like you know them in New Zealand, do not exist in the US. Now we have convenience stores, which are what I would say the same thing as or similar to a dairy, but it's generally always with a gas station, sorry, petrol station. Uh, and we just don't, it's not the same. Like you, all the services that you have like in a dairy, some will have it like in the 7-Eleven and each state or region of the US will have a convenience store chain um, and it won't be consistent but like you know how you're just so familiar with what you get at a dairy and it's so consistent around the country just letting you know not the same thing number three in addition to dairies fish and chip shop no they don't have that either they have what's called a friday night fish fry um, but maybe if you are america you know it's hard to summarize america in you know, because each state can be different. So if you have fish and chip shops um, in other states, let me know. I'm not familiar with it. So I'm literally on this channel just sharing with you what I know. And then generally people will, you know, kindly correct me in the comments if it's different in their state, which I actually really like because then I'm learning and I didn't know. And so definitely check out the comments as well. But fish fries are on Friday night and they are kind of the equivalent to like the, and I think a lot of people get fish and chips on Friday, correct me if I'm wrong, um, but like, it's not the same. Like it's like only on Friday. And so, I mean, there is like fish, fish that you can get like at restaurants, like every day of the week. But anyway, it's just not the same. It's not the same. And the menu isn't like this huge menu of like, you know, fish and chips and everything, chicken, you know, Chinese, whatever you're having. It's not the same. They don't really have those shops. Like they're so critical to the um, New Zealand culture, really, that when you travel, it's very common. People know what you're talking about. So if you just are in the States and you say, let's go to a fish and chip shop, they're not going to know what you mean. Number four, I think that you'd be surprised at how much Americans drink milk. Now, obviously there's plenty of Americans that are like lactose intolerant or just don't like milk, that's fine. But compared to New Zealand, we drink a lot more milk. Like I, had a, I don't think I've ever seen somebody here pull out a glass and pour themselves a full glass of milk. Do you guys do that here? I only see tea and coffee all the time. And so in the US, when you're eating a cookie, especially a chocolate chip one or really any cookie, Oreos, whatever, you're having it with a glass of milk. New Zealanders, they don't do that. They always have their hot drink with them. Um, in fact, I love it when you go to like the Airbnb or even your uh, kitchen at work or wherever, there's always free milk. And people always look at me like this when she's like pouring a big glass of milk to have with my lunch because people just don't eat drink big glasses of milk. Or maybe this has just been my experience in New Zealand. So correct me if I'm wrong. Am I wrong about this? Do you guys drink more milk than I'm seeing? But I'm just not seeing it as a thing here. 
Okay, so I don't know if it's because I have been in New Zealand for seven years now or because I've been in this crazy COVID lockdown, but I am really starting to miss things from home. And so I've started been shopping online and it's so expensive and so slow to ship everything from all the different places that you want. I have found a solution and I really want to share it with you guys today because I think that for my audience, you guys could really benefit from this. And so it's called Stackery. And what they do is that you can order anything you want from any store, have it shipped to one address, they consolidate the packages and then ship that to you. So you save money because they consolidate all your packages and you have one shipping cost. You also save money because they're located in New Hampshire, which doesn't have sales tax. You don't have to pay the American sales tax on any of your products and it's just so easy. And what's nice about it is that like, for example, if you're using Amazon Prime that you know, you, the package can get to your house or your location in one day, it can get to their location in one day. They can repackage everything for you. It took maybe a day, maybe two. It was very quick. And I got my packages in eight days from, from New Hampshire to Wellington, New Zealand. I got it in eight days. It is completely free for you to use. It's amazing. You guys really need to check this out. This is like so great if you're just missing something from home or just need something that you can't find here. Of course, you should brace the culture that you're living in and it's wonderful, but sometimes you just miss something from home. And so I highly recommend that you check out Stackery. And for my audience, they are going to give you guys 10% off for two years uh, if you want to just have all of your shipments done through them. I highly recommend it. I ordered a lot of things, a lot more than I was anticipating, even though I'm going to the States in like literally a matter of days. It was just so exciting and so easy and so fun. And I saved so much on the shipping. It just made complete sense. So go check out stackery.com today. They fit all of this in. The oh, oh, best part, bubbles. Oh, oh, discs. They're big bubbles and they're so sexy. Cocoa weeds. Yes, we pay big money to sh cocoa weeds. My shoes. Hey, shoes? You got I got shoes. shoes. I Finally, you don't have granny shoes anymore. Ooh, Ooh I, I like them. They look like granny shoes. <laughs> What the heck? What the They're brogies. I ordered them. I can't get them here. What so are I ordered 20 them. Packs of well, they only sell in this many. Number five, I think that Kiwis would be surprised that Americans say the Pledge of Allegiance at school every morning to the flag. What you've seen in the movies, TV. Now, do they still do it? I don't know, I haven't lived there in a while, but my kids did it all the way up until we left. Um, they stand up, face the flag, put their hand over their heart, and they pledge allegiance to the flag out loud in class or wherever they are every day. And you know, maybe not in high school as much, but definitely elementary. So if you're wondering the patriotism that you see in the US, because I hear this comment a lot from New Zealand, it's like, I love that you guys are so patriotic. They start them young. They start them young. We're pledging allegiance to the flag every morning before school. Number six, I think New Zealanders would be surprised at the free food you get at restaurants. Most restaurants will give you crackers at your table, bread and butter at your table. There's generally something, not everywhere, but a lot of restaurants give you free food before you even order your food. In fact, very easy to fill up on that food before you actually get your food. So beware, <laughs> you know, chips and salsa at Mexican food, there's a lot of free food. And if you order soda or a fizzy drink, however you wanna say it, free refills. So you're getting lots to drink all the time. And they're not just like, in the New Zealand, the sizes are like these little teeny skinny glasses and the US is like this. And then it's refilled and refilled and refilled as much as you want. In fact, sometimes they don't even ask you, they just refill it, totally different. So lots of free food in the US. Number seven. I'm not sure, and I'm kind of surprised about that New Zealanders still eat their ice cream out of plastic containers. Now, New Zealand has been very good with um, ridding themselves of excess plastic, but your ice cream is still put in plastic, which is not the way that it is in the US. Now, fair point that New Zealanders reuse their ice cream tubs over and over for multiple purposes. So it is very common in a New Zealand household to just see stacks of 
the, the plastic ice cream containers for takeaways or whatever else, school projects. Um, so yeah, they're very, very common in, the, in New Zealand, but I think you'd be surprised to know that ice cream in the US is put in these like flimsy, how do I say, cardboard containers that by the time you get to the end of your ice cream is kind of eating in and out of itself and yeah. They don't, we don't have plastic. I'm sure some of them are in plastic, but in general, it's in these weird cardboard containers that you're kind of like peeling off of the ice cream. <laughs> uh, but New Zealand's always in plastic. Um, most of the time there's, you know, like the little tubs are different, but yeah, just thought it would be something you probably didn't know. And number eight, I think that New Zealanders would be surprised to know how much Americans buy in bulk. Now I've gotten a lot of comments from people saying like, do you really, Americans always have like their whole fridge stocked with all of these drinks and all these things. And yes, it's true. But I think you'd be mostly surprised at how we Americans buy toilet paper. Because of Costco and these large bulk stores, Sam's Club, there's a bunch of them. Um, you generally will buy your toilet paper like a whole year supply. It's not uncommon or six months. And so I feel like in New Zealand, I'm always running out of toilet paper because I'm not used to adding that to my grocery list. It's not a big deal, but like, it's like, why is it that I've been here for seven years and I literally have run out of toilet paper today. <laughs> and this is what prompted me to remember this. But yeah, in the US, I think you'd be surprised that people just buy it in bulk for the entire year and they're really big rolls and they're really nice paper and then you don't need to think about it. You don't need to buy it at the store. And it's really annoying, you know, having to put the, like the toilet paper stuff in your cart and consistently, and you can get it in bulk here. Um, but yeah, it's just not as common. We just are always buying in bulk in the US, but you're getting there. Costco is here and it's going to be good. And you're going to start buying in bulk. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video today. Please comment below with anything else that I might have left out or some clarifications of things that you can maybe get in different states of the US. And just a thank you to Stackery for sponsoring this video. And remember that you get 10% off all of your shipments for two years. Click on the link in my description and uh, you can get that set up for you for free uh, and start shipping some items that you love. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next week.